Hi guys, Isaac here from ePianos and I have with me the Yamaha P515 portable piano in the booth today. And I'm really, really excited. It is one of my favourite of Yamaha's portable pianos. In fact, I think it might be my favourite. It feels amazing. Wooden keys, synthetic ivory and ebony key tops. Um, and it sounds beautiful and I'm really excited to show you what it can do. So, let's get into it. I'm just going to start off with the lovely CFX Grand Piano Sound. Let's start off. Absolutely love the sound of that piano. I think it is so inspiring. It's beautiful. You can hear every single detail right at the top. And then the crunch and the warmth down below. to the Bosendorfer piano, which is very, very different in sound, much softer, um, really beautiful for some sort of uh, mellow sounding classical stuff. I would use this definitely to compose sort of TV, film music, really soft, intimate, especially that low end. me of a uh, playing in the same key as an Ed Sheeran song. Um, I'm sure you'll know it. I'll see if I can remember how to play it. Um.
Such a gorgeous piano sound. I absolutely love playing that. I can play that for hours, um, and I do. <laughs> um, I'm going to go on. I'm going to move on, otherwise I will spend way too much time on that one. Um, one I really, really like on this is actually the Jazz Grand. Um, it just, I can feel the club. It just feels like you should be in a jazz bar. And also the piano is much brighter, um, but it doesn't lose any of that warmth on the low end. It's just slightly brighter and cuts through a little bit more. I love it. So different to the other pianos as well, but nonetheless awesome. Rock Grand is really nice. Very, very um, harsh sort of sound, but not, not harsh, but um, it's just bright, it really cuts through. Awesome piano sounds, and there are some more in there that I haven't touched upon. Um, there's a mellow grand, there's um, a warm grand, uh, it's even a pop grand actually. I'll, I'll go to that one because I do like that one as well. Um, really, really nice sound.
lovely. Now I'm going to move on to the electric piano sounds. Um, the first one is the Stage E Piano, uh, which has actually been sampled from a real uh, Fender Rhodes, which is an awesome, iconic sound, um, very prominent in sort of 70s soul music, but also a lot of the pop stuff now is using it as well. Um, I know Mark Ronson uses it quite a lot. Pharrell Williams, Always Happy. The song Happy is a, a kind of iconic one from the 21st century um, pop world that uh, uses that quite heavily in the song. Um, but it's awesome. It's really, really great. It's really responsive. You can play really light. Or you can kind of crunch it and get a bit hard with it. Awesome. Um, sounds a bit like sort of things Stevie Wonder would use. sound. Um, just pause a second while I sort my hair out. Um, moving on to the DX um, piano. Uh, it's really, really lovely. Sounds very kind of 80s. Into GP, it's very much like a kind of Wurlitzer sound. Um, again, soul music, very, very prominent. DP has some sort of effects and I'm going to get into effects in a second. 
hear it panning in the headphones. I can really hear it panning, which is a nice effect. Very spacey. Phaser again, another effect. It's got sort of a phaser, very spacey, very synthy. tremolo vintage right at the end which I really like um, again very sort of 70s soul earth wind and fire sort of stuff but it's got an effect on it this time so it's like the first one I played um, the, the whirly sound but um, just got that panning left and right which is really really cool all the electric piano sounds on the P515. I think they're awesome um, and they've been sampled really refinely um, and they're really accurate and it's really nice to hear um, on a digital instrument, especially one that's portable as well. Um, I do want to get into um, some of the functions that you can do on the P515, including split, which is where you split the keyboard and you can have two voices um, either side, one each side, left and right, um, and also the dual function, which is really cool, which is where you can put two voices on top of each other so I could have an electric piano with a synth pad underneath or I could have a piano sound and some strings or a nice choir um, and I want to fill around with those and just see what sounds good. Um, I'll start with an uh, electric piano as I'm on that. Um, I'm going to go back to the uh, stage e-piano which is this one. What I'm going to do is press the dual slash split button, which is on the right hand side of the keyboard. When I press that, it lights up, and on the screen, it gives me two voices a one and a two voice, number one voice, and number two voice. And the number two is sort of the layer that you would call the layer sound. Um, and by default, it always gives you strings, which sounds like this. does sound awesome, it sounds brilliant. Um, I do prefer actually the slow strings on the layer which is just one next to the strings option. So if I press the right arrow the screen and they just swell in a little bit more naturally um, as an orchestra would if you're playing with an orchestra um, and I think it's a slightly uh, less abrupt uh, sound when you're playing because um, I want the electric piano to blend really nicely with the strings um, and then the slow strings kind of allows that to happen and they swell in which you'll hear now so uh, see if you can hear the difference change the chord sequence now to something a little bit more major. Thank you. 
swelling in. It's a really, really nice effect. And you can play around with that. Another one that I do really like is the um, dark pad, um, and there's another couple of pads as well. You've got dark pad, uh, light pad, and bell pad. It's the dark pad I think is really, really cool. A um, little bit eerie, but also kind of cool and synthy. Um, again, sounds great with some of the electric pianos. For the sake of trying, I'm going to change the electric piano from the stage E piano now. I'm going to choose the soft EP, which is the one that had the effect on it, the tremolo, which I thought was really cool. Um, so I'm going to have that with the dark pad. Let's pick some chords, see what we can get up to. Let's give it a go. with a different electric piano now. sounds so dark and um, I actually preferred that last um, setup with the tremolo vintage um, instead of the other one with the tremolo I think the um, the soft EP sorry so I preferred that last one because um, you can hear the electric piano more I think I'd put two softer sounds together so you could kind of you know, blending into each other too much I did prefer the uh, slightly harsher electric piano with that pad because you can hear the bite to it a bit more um, I'm going to change the pad why not? Let's change to a light pad this time. Oh, nice. I'm going to put a piano with that one, so I'm going to change it. So I'm going to go up to this top voice, um, and it's as easy as pressing the piano button, and it gives me the CFX Grand by default, but I'm going to go to, let's use one, Studio Grand, which is a really nice one. Um, perfect if you're playing live, because it does cut through uh, really nicely. Um, so let's give it a go.
that sounds awesome. That sounds so cool. Um, I really like that. I really like the pad with the piano. Um, and like I said, that studio grand really, really cuts through. Um, it sounds really nice and warm. Um, let's have another play. I'm going to do piano and strings, I think, because the piano with the strings sounds awesome. I'm going to do the slow strings again. Um, and this time, let's choose the Bosendorfer, one of my favourites. Uh, let's have a play. Let's try that with the choir now. So, so cool. Um, just really inspiring. The sound is fantastic. Um, I really, really have got to give it to Yamaha. They've done a really, really amazing job on this one. It just sounds so good. Um, another thing that I think is really cool about the P515 is um, the fact you can split the keyboard, like I mentioned earlier. So instead of it all being one voice um, everywhere or all being two voices everywhere, it can be two voices in certain places. So I could have something in the left hand part of the keyboard and then something in the right hand part. Um, one that I always go to, um, which is always sort of makes sense musically, is um, to have a bass in the left hand and a piano in the right and quite handily um, Yamaha a bass in the left hand and then on the right it will give you the piano sound. Uh, let's go to the rock grand because it's brighter. Um, and good for this sort of music. Um, and then there's an acoustic bass by default, which I'll just play you a little of now. Awesome. Sounds so real as well. It's really, really great. Um, one I do actually like a little bit more, um, still an acoustic bass, but you press um, a few through on the uh, left hand voice and it gives you bass and cymbal. So now when you hear the play, um, to hear the bass play, you'll hear a little cymbal in the background. It just gives an added layer um, and it sounds super jazzy. <laughs> awesome. And now, when I add the right hand part,
switch to the bass if you see. There we go. So the split point at the moment is there, which is on the uh, C here, C just below middle C. Um, but that can also be changed in the settings. Again, really nice of Yamaha to give you the kind of freedom to do that. Um, let's change the piano sound. I'm going to go for a more mellow sounding one. Um, let's go for warm grand. Let's hear. Nice. Let's go for the different chord this time. Um, Awesome sound. It doesn't have to be a bass in the left hand. You can do things like nylon guitar if you wanted to sort of in the left. See if I can keep that going. So nice to play um, different songs with different sort of configurations of sounds. It just just adds to the playing experience. It's really really exciting. It's a steel guitar. Scroll through some more. Yeah, there's a fretless bass. Very funky um, electric bass. So cool. So, so cool. Um, just some more voices before I finish up. Um, the others category is quite interesting on here. When you go to the others, um, it gives you all the basses as a full keyboard. So sometimes if you're playing live um, and you are sort of acting as the keyboard player, um, you might need to have a guitar sound all the way up the keyboard. So that, piano, that guitar sound I played earlier, you've now got it full keyboard. Really, really nice. That with strings actually would sound really nice. So I'm going to try that out now actually. Um, I'm going to do nylon guitar with some slow strings and I'll uh, see what that sounds like.
beautiful. I could spend hours playing this, I tell you, hours. I really, really could. I think it's one of the best keyboards, um, or I should say portable pianos that Yamaha have made. Um, it feels amazing, it sounds great. Um, watch some of our other videos, that you'll find them really, really helpful, I'm sure. We've got loads, we pretty much have every area covered here at ePiano, so make sure you subscribe. If you've got a question, drop it in the comments or drop us an email. Um, email is sales at epianos.co.uk. Um, or give us a call if you like as well, but um, make sure you subscribe and keep in touch. Give this video a like and uh, we'll see you next time.